Hello from Lower Saxony in Germany. We are on a field near village Sickel, close to Braunschweig. And what we have here is a open German national championship. We are now waiting for three fly-offs to happen. And the weather is super interesting. So let me first show you the vicinity. So this field is like on a small hill surrounded by forest on three sides only open to the east. So all around are woods, trees and we have north to slightly northwest wind. And the weather situation has been super interesting for the whole week. We got a large influx of cold air from the north. And this is why we now have this crisp, cool air with unlimited visibility and amazing light. So, very clean air. I guess it looks clean because it's also rather dry and that's why no, we get no haze and nothing that would obstruct our visibility. So flying tactics. Most people will choose this tree line as a slope to get there. Uh, planes up there and use that as uh, uh, use them to ride the wave that's uh, moving off of them. But in the preliminary rounds, one of the last flights, we saw a quite amazing pickup from the valley behind here. So we are like on a small ridge and. Uh, ground behind here drops maybe 25 meters um, that you can use to, to, to do some slope soaring. Let's see if anyone decides to do that. It's rather risky because of the trees are also to the north and they of course create a lot of turbulence. So, it's a perfect zero or hero choice, but not a reliable one. So, what I'm seeing now, these are the reliable choices. Maybe just slightly in front of the trees. But definitely downwind. And this is now what they have, and let's see what they will do. So two guys went much higher, safe choice, but the majority picked this like, I don't know, maybe 80 to 100 meters. Some of them are even lower. Initial impression is that it doesn't look too good. But even the guys that went higher up are now joining them. So looks like currently there's a sink happening here and nothing much you can do about that.
first one down. Who's next lowest? So we saw a couple of birds circling happily in a thermal that was being carried by the wind about five minutes before pilots entered the start corridor, so about ten minutes before their start. And looks like that was the last thermal that happened since then. Because it really doesn't look too good for these guys now. All of them are now here. The eight remaining planes. Second one down. So it looks like if you stay behind the tree line, you kind of can keep the height you have, but as soon as you move in front of the tree line, you lose quickly. So let's see if this guy can find something. Third one down.
But in the meantime, the rest of the flock managed to gain quite some height. And looks like this will be enough for the remaining time. At least two planes are now quite nice and high. And the other three are still struggling. So the challenge with this cold wind is that it tends to be quite gusty. So it's hard to say whether you just hit a pump in the air, a bubble, a turbulence or something, or if you are in a proper thermal. I mean, if you can only survive one turn, then just a bump. If your plane is climbing for two, three, four turns, then it's more than a bump and it might be a fully developed thermal. It looks now like all of them are good. I see four planes here circling happily. I don't know where the fifth one is. also somewhere in that direction.
two minutes to go, so they are now mostly overhead. Still pretty high. And they have to figure out how to do their approach now in this wind. Funny thing is you can just point the plane into the wind, put down the flaps and you can descend almost vertically. Let's try to follow some. Here's some servos overhead. Okay. Right one done. While we were waiting for the second flight, I moved a bit. And this is the small valley to the north. Ten seconds. Let's see if anyone goes for the valley. So at least someone made a exploratory flight there to see what the conditions are, but he wasn't very happy with it, so he powered up last 10 seconds. So we have the lowest guy here, I think, just above the trees. Quickly, someone made some turns that looked good and everyone is suddenly there. Because this is still quite low level here. Looks quite good. So someone lost altitude behind the tree line and now saves himself with the motor, which I think is a good thing to do here. But he has now a zero flight. The rest looks like they found some good air. 
and you've now climbed out safely except that three of them are coming back so the wind uh, at height is even stronger than here near to the ground and you can quickly be blown pretty far downwind but with these trees here in front you don't actually see that uh, model in the distance very well so if you are not gaining that much height it doesn't make sense or it's even dangerous to get blown down downwind although there's nothing much here behind these trees uh, I think it's a garbage dump um, yeah, you don't want your planes to become garbage, right? over the trees, he went around let's see if he now finds something again so there's basically only two choices that he has either find something, climb out or return to landing to get the points for the time had he managed to fly In the meantime, all of the guys that were really high came back and lost lots of height. And they're basically all already at landing. That's interesting. And suddenly the guy there over that bush doesn't look that bad anymore because others have more problems look at that it's almost enough for a turn yep maybe one more yep. very good very good the others doing they're also looking for their own thermal in this same general area close so flying downwind here as I said can be nerve-wracking
so this whole competition would be much easier or much more interesting with some westerly wind that's also how the runway is aligned and I expect these are the prevailing winds here but as I said the weather situation we have now is dumping tons of rain everywhere from western Balkans all the way up to Poland and everything in between uh, even with local floods so what can I say we have sun so we are on the lucky side so although the weather is not really enjoyable it's quite cold uh, at least we can run a nice competition So this is definitely not a type of competition where you find one thermal and stick with it for 15 minutes. Here you have to work. So let's say for 15 minutes you need, I don't know, three, four, even five thermals. Ride each one for two, three minutes, come back, find the next one. So this can't be yet called dynamic soaring, but it's definitely dynamic as far as F5J goes. Now planes are getting kind of uncomfortably close. Like this is the last thermal that will give them the time they need to finish this second round. If I see the clock correctly, they need three more minutes. So looks like seven pilots will make this round. Only two landed 
prematurely. Two minutes to go. So there are at least two guys, maybe three. Need something for these two minutes. Yeah, looks like luck is on their side. This guy going forward into the wind, I don't know. It's a recipe for early landing, maybe that's what he wants. Maybe he can just make it. Yep. Okay. It was enough. Okay. Well done. Very well done. Now, one more flight. Third flight, still much the same conditions are... Anyone low? Someone is trying over there. Let's see. No. So the joining the others. So it will be another cold, windy flight. Busy for looking any small bump or maybe a thermal with added complication that the sun has just uh, been covered by a cloud. Okay, this is going to be a bit more of a challenge, even more than it already is. Guys are patiently waiting for any good air to come by. Uh, there are two guys even to my right and one is very far to the right, quite high already, unexpectedly. Yes, this guy is already too far and too low, too far in the front, I mean. And no luck for him. He won't 
even make it to the point. Okay, so one guy went far to the right and actually got a good air. Others are still struggling here over the camp. So these trees combined with this wind make for a busy airspace. Again in an unfortunate position just over the camper vents. Not ideal, but such is life. really interesting what did that guy on the right saw before he started so let me try to show you where he is up there somewhere so even he now returned uh, upwind but he still looks to be in a good air because others are still having fun here It's hard to enjoy this kind of lights. But this is a competition. forward or at least about half of them okay the guy on the top started circling here and immediately everyone is here yep So looks like two guys got some height out of this bubble that passed by. And three are still, or again low. Working on finding the next bubble. They got something.
so again staying slightly downwind behind the trees makes for a better air keeping in front of the trees is a bit more of a challenge These two guys are now even three, four. We have to work a bit more. I'm not sure if it's already time for landing. At least five orbiners. So one decided to give up early. I guess that is too stressful staying up there. Once you get out of that wave that the trees are making. It's a challenge to find something else. It's unlikely, let's say. So, next one giving up. He also went over the road, but this time no luck there. Yep, at least he got the points for landing. And there's next one. Dropping like flies, one by one. And this one is not giving up. He is persistent. And looks like it paid off for him. He needs about three more minutes of flying and it's done. good air over there, look. So these guys are now all banked. Two minutes to go.
now almost time to prepare for landing and they're all lining up with their landing points I expect no further acrobatics out okay this is not the final approach Excellent. So despite some really close flying, we see no crashes. Very good. I like it. Now let's see who won these challenging flights. Then we come to the Erwachsenen. We have the new flyoff. The results on Platz number 9 is Christian Keulotz. Auf Platz Nummer 7 der Sebastian Feigl. Platz Nummer 6 der Martin Schweigl. Ich 